let's talk about painting on glass. Creating and painting on glass can be so much fun. Let me share a couple of basics with you to get you started. You'll want to make sure that you have the right paint on hand. Choosing a paint that works on glass surfaces is ideal. The gloss enamels will give you a nice glossy finish to your design. The glass paint has more of a satin finish. And the glass paint markers dry to a nice glossy finish as well. Now let's start with cleaning your glassware. You can put your items in the dishwasher. You can wash them with soap and water or use rubbing alcohol. I like to use these little wipes to wipe my surfaces down. This will remove any dirt and debris, fingerprints, and the oils from your hands. When I'm painting, I also like to hold on to my surface with a paper towel, again, keeping my fingers off of my surface as much as possible. Next, you'll wanna make sure that you have a brush with soft bristles this will help minimize the brush strokes and allow you to lay that paint on. So when it comes to painting on your project, you can jump right in with your brushes and your paint. But if you want a specific design, say lettering or a design, you can print it off on your computer and transfer it to your surfaces. For something that's going into a circular glass, I like to cut notches out of my paper and then I'll attach it inside with some painter's tape. The notches will allow you to move that paper around so that you can lay it as flat as possible. Here are other couple of tips to keep in mind when painting on glass. You wanna make sure that you keep your design away from where you'll put your mouth or say on a plate where you'll put any food. While the paint is non-toxic, it's best just to be safe to not have the paint meet where your mouth or your food will be. The other tip is when you rinse your brush out with water, you wanna make sure that you dry that off nicely so that you get most of that water out of your brush before loading it with the paint. This will just ensure that the paint adheres to the glass nicely. And then using your line drawing, you can start to paint. Once you paint one layer, you can remove your pattern and then add a second layer once the first has completely dried, especially if you're going for more of an opaque look. Another tip is when you want the paint to dry a little bit faster, you can use a hair dryer or a heat tool to make that happen. To transfer onto a glazed ceramic piece, you can use some transfer paper and again, tape that in place. Go over the lines using a pen or a stylus. You can use a brush and paint to fill in, but I'm going to use the glass paint marker. They'll come with a white nib, and you just wanna prime that on your surface until you see the paint flowing to the tip nicely. And then you can easily go right over your letters to fill them in. Another thing to keep in mind when you're using transfer paper is you want to make sure that it's a waxless transfer paper. That way it doesn't act as a resist when you transfer your design or your words. And you can easily clean up any of the marks from the transfer paper using a Q-tip and a little bit of rubbing alcohol. So the glass paint markers are opaque. Look at that beautiful coverage. If you wanted to add a shadow, some highlights, some polka dots, or just add to the design, you'll wanna let this dry completely before adding your next color. You can also intermix the paint markers and the paint. Remember, you want a brush that has a nice soft bristle to it when you're painting on glass. And instead of pushing with a lot of pressure, you wanna think about laying the paint on. So soft pressure, 
lay the paint on and again you can allow this to dry come back and add additional colors additional layers to complete your design once your glass pieces are painted allow them to cure and dry for 24 hours if you want them to be dishwasher safe and a little bit more durable you can put them into a cold oven preheat it to 275 and bake for 20 minutes once it's done turn off the oven and let it cool down don't be tempted to look at your pretty painted pieces because the glass will crack once the glass pieces have completely cooled down you can use them and put them into the top rack of your dishwasher just think about all the custom glass pieces that you can create remember you want to make sure that you have the right products for painting on glassware that you've cleaned your glassware before painting that you have nice soft bristle brushes the possibilities are truly endless and there you have it i hope that inspires you to create some glass pieces today